Air Tracker 7 over the new Denver Union Station this afternoon. The official grand opening celebration is set for tomorrow. Today, though, 7 News reporter Amanda Cost always investigating. And Amanda, you're tracking the money spent on this project and its potential to generate even more in the future. Yeah, Teresa, we checked here. The price tag for this, $54 million. And we found a whole lot is riding on the foot traffic. For two years, 7 News tracking the redevelopment plans, progress, and now here for the finishing touches. Restored, rebuilt, revived. This is the new Denver Union Station. The design, artwork, restaurants, bars, and businesses. It was our goal that um, this be the best of Colorado, and that's why practically everything in this building is Colorado exclusive, the best of Colorado. And it's not cheap. The project cost $54 million. Taxpayers funded $22 million, with $6 million in tax credits for restoring a Denver landmark, and $16 million through RTD. Five million dollars dedicated to building up Amtrak. The balance, about 32 million dollars, privately funded. What are the things here uh, that make up the Denver Union Station project that will differentiate and potentially ensure that this will be an economic success? That's an excellent question, and I think it goes to the um, community at large. One thing that I love about Denver is we we plan for the pedestrian and we accommodate the vehicle where so many other cities um, aren't really walkable. Counting on the walkability, this prime location. At the end of the day, um, the consumers will decide, but so far um, what we've seen has exceeded our expectations. The Crawford Hotel, along with some 15 restaurants, businesses, and additional two bars already open for business, but the official grand opening here set for tomorrow morning. Reporting live in downtown Denver, Amanda Cost, 7 News. And right now on our 7 News app, we have an inside look at some of the amenities inside the new Union Station and more pictures just like this one, walking you through the remodeled landmark. Those are all available for you right now on the DenverChannel.com and on our 7 News app.